Yes, hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Please, please make your way to your seats. We are here for the uh, 14th meeting of the Dogs Who Appreciate Kenny Foster Society. Welcome back to Dwags. Um, it's wonderful to be here. Um, we're all very excited for Kenny's return. He'd been leaving us for a week. I wondered if uh, you, uh, anyone had anything to say. Uh, in appreciation, of course, of course. Yeah, dude, I, uh, I, I just gotta tell you, man, like, uh, <laughs> he's just, like, the coolest man, and, like, I, I just love his style, man, and you see my jacket, man? Yeah, I, I bought this jacket, I heard it, I heard it, like, he looked, he looked at it once at a vintage store, but it was, like, too small to him, and I'm like, ah, ah, he's too small, that's me! Okay, so I decided I was, I was gonna, so I bought it, and I'd never take it off. <laughs> uh, next yeah bro bro uh golly man let me just tell you about kenny foster and like i heard him play acoustic guitar for like the first time and i was like if i can play acoustic guitar maybe around the bonfires with the chicks then maybe they would totally warm up to the Brewster. So I started doing it, and that's uh, it's basically uh, what got me in here, man, guys. I'm just really happy to be here. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yes. Well. Um, anyway, thank you all for being here, but first, please, please, let's get to the main event, which is what I wanted to say, and it is Mr. Kenny Foster, ladies and gentlemen, if we can find him, uh, anywhere, does, does anyone know where he is? Does anyone, I, I, I don't know if, yeah, it's me, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back to Quarantine with Kenny, it's, it's good to be here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Who let the dogs out, am I right? Oh, God. Anyway, welcome back to Quarantine with Kenny. I am your host with the most from coast to coast to coast to coast, Mr. Kenny Baja Man Foster. And I am so excited that you guys are here with me today for more insanity, for being honest, and a lot of good times. Guys, thank you for joining us again. Missed y'all last week. Uh, I had a wedding. It was very important. It was very sweet. It was backyard. It was masked. It was distant, and yet it was still beautiful and wonderful, and it was great to be at. So sorry for missing you guys, but I'm glad to be back here with Sound of Nashville, and we've got a special guest. Let's waste no more time, and let's get right to it. Let me tell you a little bit about my guest today. So they started out, it was born out of a childhood friendship. Their family has been friends for three generations at least. Um, they go way, way, way back. In the heart of Texas, Smithfield is the brainchild of Jennifer and Trey. They had a CMT video featured on the Artist Discovery Program. They got played on S Sirius X on the Highway. They made their Opry debut in 2018. So they opened for artists like Kane Brown, Scotty McCurry, Granger Smith, Dustin Lynch. They have a critically song, Hey Whiskey, is probably the one that you all know about them. Um, but they have been on numerous artists to watch lists. And they have a current EP called We Make Our Own, but that is not to be overlooked. Now, We Make Our Own made the top 10 on the iTunes chart when it debuted. Whoa, whoa. That's a big deal. And they had their latest single, which was actually made during this time. And if we're lucky, fingers crossed, we might be able to hear that from them this time around. I, I don't know, but I don't want to keep you from them any longer. So let's see if we can't bring out our good friends. Your this is Smithfield. Smithfield. How are you today, my lovelies? Is everything good with you guys? Hi, hey, what's up? Kenny! There they are. What's going on, y'all? Where'd all your dogs go? Oh, no, I, I let them out. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they took a pee. Yeah, yeah, man. Anyway. Anyway. Well, man, you got to know. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it real for all the good people all over the world, if you see what I'm saying. Guys, oh, what's, what's going on with you guys? Man, not much. We're just, uh, you know, doing what everybody else is doing right now, trying to stay inside and keep the mask on. But Absolutely, man. It's been cool. It's been, like, a lot of creative energy going on as well. It's been an interesting time for that. That's good. Tell me about it. Has have the creative juices flowing? Because I know, at least for me, like, some days it's really good, and some days I don't want to touch nothing. I don't want to be involved in nothing. Yeah. I don't want to talk about nothing. 
I mean, there's good days and bad days, Kenny. You know, we're like everybody else. We're navigating a crazy time. Um, we were super creative at the beginning of the year and spent all our time writing. We actually wrote for a new EP that we got to record um, before the whole world shut down. Um, so we're excited about that. New music is coming for any Smithfield fans out there. We're really right. excited about it. Um, but yeah, like now it's kind of just like, oh, all right, we just... We're ready to get to the other side of this thing, right? We're yeah, super positive and, you on the and everybody else, right? Yeah. <laughs> Instagram living like twice a week, and and then we just kind of you know fell fell down the hill. But we're back. We're so excited to be with Sound in Nashville and hey, we're, hey, mm -hmm. um, we're just glad that we like already knew you prior to all this. So I know. I was trying to think. I think we met at a listening room round back at like their last yes. location before this location before this location. Yep. Yes. And I think the last time I got to lay eyes on you was probably in Vegas for the ACMs last year. Yeah. So like, I mean, it's been at least a year for y'all. Remember mm -hmm. we played, I was like insomnia that night. Like we played like two o'clock in the morning. Wow, I forgot. Remember? Oh my gosh. Yes, and I was just like, yeah, hey, whiskey. Oh, oh, you know, like it oh, was dude. so late. I did not want to play, but it was amazing. Didn't, didn't right. need whiskey at that point. Yeah. <laughs> I needed, I needed some coffee. Yeah, strong coffee. Mm -hmm. oh, I love it. So, um, so uh, what? What? So, besides the creative, because like, like, let's get a little more personal. Like, what has been passing the time for y'all? Like, what? Like, are you binging stuff? Are you cooking stuff? Are you like? What? I've got. Is there a guilty pleasure that you were like, I'm never going to do this thing, but you have so much time on your hands that you were like, I'll try it, and it turns out you freaking love it? Do you have one of those? Is that um, a thing? Well, I yeah, like – You can do this. I completely redid – so I live in a little townhome, um, and I, like, repainted the house. I added subway tile. I oh, nice. The, the cabinets. Like, I went all, like, Joanna Gaines on everybody. Did, like, a little Tennessee modern – farmhouse and that was something that i like would never take the time to do but great so uh, when is your hgtv show is that <laughs> happening? coming uh fall 2021 yeah yeah oh, excellent <laughs> right now, can't, so. can't do it right now <laughs> <laughs> gosh my guilty pleasure has probably been all right so you know netflix has a lot of options oh so and, many uh, good shows right now full what do you what do you been and what's what's got your heart top three my, me and my girlfriend have, like, no shame binged every sappy love dating show on Netflix. Like, name them. Name them? I mean, in, in Matchmaking, Love on the Spectrum, Married at First Sight. I mean, what was the one? You know, uh, date, blind dating or getting married blind or something? Oh, uh, what was that? Love, love is, is blind. blind. Love is blind. Ooh, that, that seemed cringy to me. Was it good? Tell me about it. Uh, so good. We watched it. Okay. We watched, <laughs> we watched it. That's the best review we've got. Yeah. Uh, tell me, tell me about Love on the Spectrum because I, I I've heard about this. This is about um, it's about yeah. people on the autism spectrum having their yeah. own dating show, right? It is. It's, watch this. it's pretty incredible, honestly. Like it's just interesting. It kind of gives you a glimpse into that world and kind of helps you understand people on the spectrum more honestly through yeah. the way that they like date other people and interact with other people. But yeah, cool. I would suggest it. Interesting. Yeah, I love that. I, I, I'd i run about it. It's in my list, along with 99 other things that I'm, I'm going to get to, I promise. Um, so, so good. Um, hey, some people wrote in with some questions. Can I ask you some of those? Are you are you down to do that? Hey. Of course. Great. Before this whole thing went on. Okay. Um, let's start this one. If you could pick any artist from any genre mm -hmm. to collaborate with. Oh, that's hard. And, and you guys are lucky because you get you get two technically. So I'm gonna let each one of you answer. Whoever wants to go first, no pressure. You want to go first? Oh my gosh, I have so many that are like tops. I have one. You have? Oh well, yeah, I know Trace. <laughs> so I was gonna go out of the genre of country, but since I already know Trace and his is out of the genre, I'm gonna go with in genre. I love Keith Urban. Yeah, I man. Love to do collaboration with him. Yeah. But do you, you see he's hosting the ACMs this year virtually? I did, which is kind of a shocker. Like, he's never been a host for anything, right? No, no. I think this is it. To see how that goes. Also, I think it's cool that, like, an Australian is hosting 
an American TV show. Sure, sure. Well, V, he has a history of being a nice guy that has really been engaged in previous iterations and new younger yeah. artists and doing collaborations. So I, you may not be too far from that. Get sure. it. I'll tell you what. Trey, what about you? Uh, Johnny Resnick from the Goo Goo Dolls. Yeah, dude, of course. His open tunings and his hair. I mean, come on. That's it. Alone. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've always wanted to write with that guy. And plus, it's also my dream. CMT Crossroads, 2025, maybe. He, he's know. claimed that. I'm like, well, who's going to get to choose? And he's, like, claimed it years ago. So, uh, <laughs> gave that. like, I'll give you this one thing, but I get the rest. <laughs> Dude, so, many, so many good emotional songs from them. Um, the Goo Goo Dolls were really cool. And especially in that... I like to call it the sweet pocket of music because I feel like, and, and I'm going to get real nerdy on you for a second, but um, so what happened in the music industry in the eighties is that uh, hair metal became a thing and that made everybody all of this insane amounts of money. And they started doing arena rock and then they did a genre switch. They did a medium switch. So we went from cassette tapes to CDs Yep. And so then the industry was able to sell the same music in two different mediums. And then they were cash rich all of a sudden. And so then they took chances on music that necessarily wouldn't have gotten signed before because they were cash flush. And that's where alternative rock came from. That's where the singer songwriter genre kind of got pumped up, you know, in ways that didn't really fit in in a way that was, and uh, it, it was a special time in music and, and country classic country, like, it started moving towards pop, but was still holding on to what made it good. And I think some of the sweetest years in country music were back in the nineties too. So Amen. there you go. Oh, I, I'm, I'm excited for you. Okay. Next, next question. Next question. All right. Let's for, go. for 2025. It, it, it's going to be good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the question is your song, if it ain't you was inspired by your grandmother. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. Um, this is like kind of a, a soft spot for me right now. I recently lost her a couple weeks ago. So been going with that, we were really close growing up and I, um, I lived with her for four years and we would go out to the cemetery every Sunday to put flowers on my Paul's grave. And when I got a little bit older, I asked her, she always wore her wedding ring, even after he passed away. And um, I always wondered why she did that, why she never got remarried or found love again. And she told me, um, Jenny, if your papa's hand I'm holding and I get to come home to at night, then I don't even really know what love is. I don't know what it's like without him. And so she, 30 years, loved my papa. And one of the things we were told when we moved to Nashville was just right from your heart. And you'll be able to connect with people um, more than you could ever imagine if you write what you know. So there wasn't a great love that I knew more than my Mimi and my Papa. So she, their love totally inspired that whole song. And that's kind of where it came from. That's great. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you try, if you try too hard or try to do something that you're not, I, I feel like we, we get into, we get into, the Nashville thing, once you come in and recognize that there is a game that's being played, that's sort of overlaid on the thing that we imagined before we moved here, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yes. you, you start to like question your own, like what makes you, you, I, I certainly fell into that trap. Right. So you start trying to write for what you think they want to hear. Right. Um, but, but, but it becomes, I think it becomes less about, what you think you can capture and rather more like fire. I like, I say like putting a flag in the ground or fire in a flare and like artistry then becomes a thing like, Hey, this is what I'm about. Are you about that too? It's almost like a question. It's not like a, I know what you need. It's a, do you need this too? And I think you end up finding your fans, the right fans and the right following in that case. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I know that I certainly do. No, I see. And on the head, man, I mean, I feel like, they want to pull you so many directions when you get to town. You show everybody what makes it special, and they want to like tweak it or do this or make it more like this. And well, so this it's so hard. What's working out it's right so now. hard to stay in that middle lane sometimes, like who you are. Yeah. Well, if if you're chasing what's working now, you're already five years behind. Do you know what I mean? Because like there are so many people in that line in front of you. Even if you come up with a great song or you end up following that sound, like there are people who actually do that who have been doing it for years. So right. you're quick imitation pivot isn't going to help you or the market in any way, shape or form. I don't think so. So, um, all right. 
Next question. Um, you mentioned new music that you recorded before all this happened. I know everybody's timeline is messed up. Um, <laughs> can you can you give us a hint at a date, or do you not even want to stab at it? You just want people to know that it's coming. Um, uh, <laughs> both of our answers. <laughs> it, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you tell we we ready for that one? Um, no, you know, at, the, at this point, obviously everything's up in the air. It's we want to release it. Should I say? I'm going to say, by there the will be the something year. new, whether by it's a single year. or an EP, out by the end of the year. Okay, that's fair. Is, you, is heard that fair? Here, you heard it here, folks. If you need it, you need it from these folks right now. Um, okay, well, cool. I know everybody's chomping at the bit for that. So whatever Sorry. it looks like. I do feel like the fans are for us during this time, though. Like, they get it. I do. You know I mean? Like, they want it right now, but they also understand, you know. We got to give ourselves the best chance. Okay. Last question here, and interesting during this time. If you hadn't become musicians, Ooh. what would you have decided to be? Uh, would have owned a coffee shop. Oh, Ooh. we're going to do that. We're still going to do it. Trey and I love coffee. That's like oh. our next step in our music career. You should have told me I have this great filter. I could have done the intro on coffee. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. It's gone. It's gone now. Um, so coffee shop, is that for both of you or? Oh, I, yeah, that was a good one, Trey. I mean, we, we both love coffee. And I mean, like she said, it is still one of our dreams. Like once obviously the music is gone in 2025, we've done our crossroads with the Goo Dolls and such. Yeah, well, I mean, um, you've reached the pinnacle at that point. So like, yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, we'd love to open a coffee shop and, and do something in that realm. Um, I'm going to go a little bit different because you're right. I will yeah, go to the coffee shop, but I still feel like that's going to happen. Um, I would probably do something in health and, and wellness and fitness. I've always, I grew up an athlete. So what I did most, the majority of my days was either I was singing or I was playing sports. So I really would love to do something, encourage, um, especially women, you know, in, in today's world, we have so many body image issues. I would just love to share my heart, my story and my passion and use that to encourage others. Um, but I'd rather do some music, music over over that. But that would be a second choice, I think. For sure. Yeah. Well, sounds good. So we'll go to your half yoga studio, half coffee shop uh, very soon in 2026. Put it on your calendars. Location TV. Things. Good. So every every week on the show, we highlight one charity. Today's uh, the one that you guys picked was Music Cares, which I have a big heart for as well. I'll tell everybody else a little bit more about it. It's the charitable arm of the Recording Academy, the, the Grammy Awards. That everybody knows who these people are. Yes. So they provide a safety net of critical assistance for musicians during times of need. They do services, resources range from financial, medical, and also personal emergencies. But then during COVID, they've actually have their own covid relief fund and they've been doing a really good job bailing a ton of people out i think they've distributed over the years 60 million dollars to over 58,000 different people um i have friends that have that have benefited from at some point whether it's a medical bill or a tragedy or a crisis or if it's just during covid i know they've been really helpful uh to a lot of folks yeah. so um i don't know if you guys have any experienced friends but i mean they're they're very large in our community right Yes. Yeah, I mean, you know, we always hear the country music as a family and always feel like music cares is the arms, you know, of the country music family just keeping us in check. And well, help us, you know. not just country music. They take care of all genres of music, all musicians, um, all facets of the industry, not just artists. Um, so they're really special. They've actually personally helped us, many friends at one point or yeah. another. So we're really grateful to Music Cares. It's a great organization yeah. to give to. Um, and so that's why we chose that's great. So if, if you're if you're at home, if you are a musician that needs some of this relief, or if you want to give money to this cause, there's a link in the bio of Sound of Nashville here right now. So I, I've prepped at least one of you about what's about to happen next, but we're about to play a little game that I call Wheel of <laughs> Filters. And so what we need to do is click the happy face with the sparkles on it. It should be okay. on your phone. And that's going to bring up like a whole bar and you're going to have a ton of filters there that some that you've picked, some they just put on there at random. I don't know how you do that, but just scroll, give it a nice little or like, or you can be more picky about it, but just find a filter. And then we're going to have a conversation as our filter characters. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Oh, that's scary. 
Oh, vampire. Oh, Trey, no. get up here. Oh, your eyes are so creepy. Oh, yeah. It goes, all these usually only go to one. Okay, okay. Okay, I think we got it. We got Why is it all, why is it all going to her? <laughs> She's closer, man. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, now you get out. Okay. I'm, I'm, so, so yeah, so what we'll do is you guys will just take turns. You're going to be the burrito. You're going to be the burrito brothers. I know one of you is a sister, but I'm just going to call you the burrito brothers. That's and, indeed, I'm like so far out, and I'm here to spread peace, love, and burritos, my brothers. Yeah. So, so let's do this, Mr. Mr. Trey Burrito. Um, what, how, are you, how are you going to bring peace to the world, man? What, what's your platform, brother? You know, I just want to feed people's stomachs to keep them happy because hanger is a real issue we're dealing with in this world right now. Absolutely, <laughs> man. And cure it with delicious burritos. <laughs> man, it's like it's so giving of yourself, you know, because that's real sacrifice, brother. You know, like, hey, put me put me into your stomach, man. That's yeah, that's going way all the way, man. Uh, si Sister Jennifer Burrito, what, what, what's your platform, girl? What's your thing? Um, to provide the best Texas fajita meat in every burrito given. Well, I mean, listen, quality is important. Variety is the space. He stole it from you. <laughs> Give me a burrito. I wasn't even close to the camera. Give it out. I am a burrito. It's my, turn. it's my turn to be a burrito. Hey, guys, but I'm here to spread love. I don't know if I've said that enough yet. So you guys, I need you to, like, Make sure to hug and make up. I don't need this to be a competition or anything. Because we thank you. Thank, we need now it. Yeah, yeah, now she's got it. Ah, <laughs> see what she did? That was funny. Anyway, that's good. That's good. All right. Back to normal. Back to normal. You guys. He's eating well, my you... burrito. Get out. Okay. Back to normal. <laughs> can't do it. I can't. Well, Honestly, well, I, you guys make being a burrito look really like appetizing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Slide it all the way to the left. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> so good so hey um can we swap some songs will you I sure. i'll play a song you play a song it's like an old-fashioned guitar pool but like right. wait you you want me to go first you want to go first what do you want to do what you want to do go first kenny go i'm first. gonna go first okay let me grab a pick so um ooh, so i've been writing all these songs i'm going uh a, I start. We start pre-production in uh, in two weeks, three weeks. Oh, nice. So, yeah, um, and I'm going on a I'm going on like a content grabbing road trip back home to Joplin um, in Missouri. So we're gonna so the road that I've driven for the past 15 years back and forth. We're gonna like tell stories along that route and uh, and take oh, wow. folks back back to where I'm from. So I'm really excited about that. But like we've been like going through all of these songs, you know, I mean, I, I know when we're doing EPs, we're only highlighting three or four. And like, I haven't done a full record for three years at this point. So like the no number of songs, like I'm dealing with like three or 400 songs now that I'm trying to like sift through and like figure out like what, like what's next, like what, what fits together and that sort of thing. And, um, but I'm also discovering all these songs I forgot I had, you know, you're like, Oh yeah, I did write that. That is great. So I'm going to try one of those. I've never done this thing here before, but I felt it felt apropos during this time where we have way too much time on our hands. So let's see what happens here. This is called, um, I've been better. I learned how to play piano And I finally fixed my swing Found out I'm no good at yoga it Turns out I like to read Since I made my mind to do it I can tell you honestly I've been bitter All my work is getting done Spending more time at the gym my blood pressure's close to normal. I see lots more of my friends. But the only thing that gets me is you not asking how I've been. I've been better. Yeah, I'm getting good at drinking. 
Do it almost every night. I'm the best in make believing. It'll get you off my mind. But with you being gone, I've had way more time to see. That no matter who I make myself to be, I've been bitter. You used to put me back together. Every time I came under, you put a light into my darkness. Give me hope when I had none. Oh, the better half of me is the best of who I was. I've been there. Cause I'm getting real damn good at drinking. Do it almost every night. I'm the best to make believe in. It'll get you off my mind. And with you being gone, I'll have way more time to see. No matter who I make myself to be, I've been better. I've been better. Yeah, I'm pretty good at. When I'm out painting town, cause I've learned to do my cry. With no one else around, yeah, you be gone. I've had all too much time to see. And no matter who I make myself to be, I've been better. Ooh, I've been better. I can't wait. Oh. <laughs> I tried. It's like a breath whistle. Good job, Kenny. That was awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's there it goes. It's a, it's a nice little. It, you did it. It's a nice little. Uh, it's a nice little heartbreak song. I love the heartbreak ones. I don't care. I don't care. It can start down Ha Ha Land, but it needs to end up in heartbreak somewhere. So come on, you two. Come on, give me, give me the single. Show me what I got. Um, well, so we're going to bring us up now from the heartbreak and say, you know what? We're going to figure it out. Yeah. Uh, encouragement, Kenny, because <laughs> dark I'm, I'm really glad I went first. <laughs> Some dark times out there. Um, this was a song, again, right? What you know, this was Trey and I's heart uh, earlier this year. I'm just so prepared. And then um, finding out, you know, <clears throat> COVID and the whole world shut down, it, um, <clears throat> Everybody else was feeling like feeling. So we put the song out in between um, putting out single slash EP. Again, not sure yet, but we wanted to get in something during this time. Um, we didn't even fully, rec it, we just recorded it. It's literally a guitar. Um, there's nothing fancy on it, just our vocals. So check it out. It's out right now. We'll figure it out. It's um, on the New Boots playlist. So definitely check it out there too. Um, Great. We shall play it. Do it. Do the things. <laughs> oh, I don't need no pick. I don't need no pick. <laughs> Loving is easy. It's a living talk. To know where we should be. But a lack of even when the world turns on a dime and you pinch your days just to get by, well, I don't know how, I don't know how, we'll be all right. Baby, the truth is, nobody knows what they're doing. I don't have the why, we don't have, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Highways are dirt roads. Sunset highs in my gray clothes. Together there ain't no doubt. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Ooh, 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 ooh. It turns out the secret everybody's trying so hard to find is there ain't no secret. Just gotta take a step at a time. Long as I got your hand to hold, every mile of my soul. So when you get scared looking out there into the unknown, baby, the truth is nobody knows what they're doing. I 
don't have no I we don't have we'll figure it out we'll figure it out I wish the dirt rolls so I said I had the heartbreak blows together there ain't no doubt we'll figure it out we'll figure it out If I don't clap afterwards, like it's awkward. We've, had, we've had too many months of staring into a phone where there's no actual response. So that's why yeah. I like these things right now, guys. How long have you been singing together? Like I, it was before you were a group, or like how did this happen? Like a decade now. Uh, yeah, about ten years. Yeah, I mean we've known each other forever, as you as shared True. with everybody. Um, but we sang separately our whole lives. Trey was in a rock band. I grew up doing country, mm -hmm. and in college. It where we discover that our voices just, they just blend together so well. And you can have two great singers, but they don't always sound great together. But we recognize what makes us special is this, us together. So yeah, yeah it, takes, it's about a it takes a lot of, takes a lot of listening, it takes a lot of like stepping forward and stepping back. And it's, it's a, it's a brilliant dance where no one leads it all. And you guys do it so well. So thank you guys for coming on to the show today. Really, really appreciate you. Um, uh, everybody back home, we are here every Thursday. Thank you for tuning in uh, here with my friend Smithfield. Make sure to go and follow them at Smithfield Music. And again, we're here every Thursday at noon central time zone in the States at 7 p.m. or 1900 over in Germany in Central Europe. And then also for all of our British fans that are tuning in, uh, we're here at 6 p.m. So um, we're here for the next few weeks, and I'm so excited. But for right now, Thank you, guys, Smithfield. I know we, we like to end our show every week with a little something. I don't know if you came fully prepared, but do you have a joke for us? <laughs> we do. Yeah. I'm going to have Trey tell it. I was like, he just got back from Texas. We had breakfast tacos for uh, Friday. We were burritos on the uh, uh, wheel of uh, fat. Filters, of course. Come on. So, Trey, take it away. In the traditional text mix. What do you call a nosy pepper? It's jalapeno business. Oh, man. <laughs> well, it's a good thing. It's a good thing neither of you said that you wish you'd been a comedian. That's all we'll say. Ladies and gentlemen, hey. Smithfield, you guys take care of yourselves. Like, chins up, put that music out, give the people what they want, which is you. So, love you. Uh, uh, be good to yourselves, and we'll see y'all somewhere further down the road. Thanks, Bye, Kenny. Kenny. Good to see you, buddy. Of course. Likewise, guys. Take care. Bye.